Hey, I'm Katie with REI, and today we're going to talk about how to choose binoculars. Understanding the specs on all these little guys is going to help you figure out which binocular is right for what you need. So at REI, we group our offerings into three categories, full-size, mid-size, and compact. The full-size binoculars are great for wildlife viewing in low-light conditions, but they're a little heavy if you're going to carry them around a lot. Our mid-size ones are great all-arounders, and our compact binoculars are great for backpacking and hiking, but not so good in low-light conditions or for extended use. The next thing to consider is what the numbers on binoculars mean. So for example, 8 by 35. The first number, 8, refers to magnification. So a binocular with a magnification of 8 will make objects seem like they're 8 times closer than they are in real life. The higher that number, the closer those objects look. But something to keep in mind is that magnifications above about 10, you may need a tripod to stabilize the image because your hands are a little too wobbly for that zoomed in. The second number, 35, is a measurement of the objective lens, this lens that's farthest away from your eye. The long story short is the larger that number, the larger this lens, and the more light your binocular is going to let in. That gives you a clearer and brighter image. When you have a larger lens here, your image quality is higher, but it does make the binoculars heavier and larger, so maybe not the best thing to carry around all day. So one other thing to consider, especially if you wear glasses, is eye relief. So eye relief is the distance between your eyeball and the eyepiece where you can still see the full image in the binocular. In other words, how close or far away you can hold the binoculars from your face and still see what's going on on the other side. If you wear glasses, you want an eye relief of at least 11 millimeters to give some space between your eye, your glasses lens, and the binocular eyepiece itself. There are a ton of other things that you can consider with binoculars, everything from weather and waterproofing, type of prisms, lens coating, and even optic quality. If you really want to get into the weeds, we'll have an article that we can put down in the description below. But as always, come in and talk to your local green vests at your closest REI. That's all we have for you today. Check out our other videos. And until then, we'll see you next time. Looks good. <laughs>